I think it'd be really cool to talk about a standard VW Transporter. Why? Because there are not very many. This particular one here, along with all our Van Haven spec vans, have got some really nice options. So I think it'd just be really cool just to go and actually start having a conversation about why it's so important to start off with a really decent spec van before you go and invest a load of time, money, and effort into turning it into something like the after shot that will be shown very cleverly in a minute. So we order our vans in short wheelbase, long wheelbase, 150 horsepower, 200 horsepower. Our vans take two guises, both factory combi and panel vans. All factory combis are T32 rated, so they are commercially efficient. Yeah. But like you said, spec is everything with these vans. We'll often compare it to building a custom house. If you build your house on a bog, it's really going to affect the ceiling value, no matter how beautiful a house you build. The exact same thing can be said for vans. You need to get the right foundation because then it just won't depreciate, it'll be far more desirable, or have all the creature comforts. And ultimately, if you're coming out with a really nice executive you're SUV, used to You're used to all of those nice things. It's you know, stuff that you need anyway. Yeah, exactly. So buy the right van, get it built by the right people. We're biased. And <laughs> <laughs> clearly, and um, you'll end up with something which is really special and you're going to really enjoy for the next three, four, four years. Or if it's going to be your forever van, it'll cover all your, tick all your boxes, shall we say, spec wise. Standard van, Transporter T6.1. They have got some great functions and some great little bits which are different from the original and the uh, T6. This one is red. And a high line. So you want to be getting a high line, don't you? Of high course. line comes with way more paint on the front bumper. Just looks a little bit more finished. Power folding wing mirrors. Heated front screen. Cruise control. Adaptive cruise control. We just basically order a high line, comes with all the good stuff. We then add a load of stuff onto it. So those are LED headlights, super important. The twin reflecting headlights that you get on the standard transporters haven't changed since T5, T51, T6, they are candles. These, on the other hand, are absolutely amazing. These are very good. Very, very nice. And when you turn them on, they do a little lovely thing as well, which is and just daytime, sexy. Daytime running lights is all just 100% better. The lights also we spec with high beam assist so that you can drive about with your high beams on and if someone comes towards you at night, they automatically dim. Sweet. Useful. Other exterior features include this, which is a Driver side sliding door. Yeah. And people often say, why do I need twin sliders? Allow me to explain. I'm driving my van. I need to get out and get something in the back. I'm there. If I didn't have that door, I'd have to walk all the way around to open that door. Can I, can I, can I do one of those? Yeah. I'm driving my van. <laughs> I am at the school. Children, eject! <laughs> Out, <laughs> boom! <laughs> Go to work. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yours is better. The but small run is- Particularly uh, when turning these into combis, it's really useful to have passengers access both sides of the van so they're not climbing over each other to get out. Absolutely. Um, and also just for, if you're gonna be using your van for a leisure purpose, getting in and out for camping and all that kind of stuff, it's just really useful. Why you wouldn't want an extra sliding door, I don't know. Some of the objections we have with uh, camper vans, for example, is, oh, I'm gonna put units down the side. When we open that up, we've now got access to put all of our services um, from the back end of the cabinetry. Yeah. Really nice, something to drag out your gray water and your, your clean water through, through the van. It just makes life really, really easy. So they always come with these on a panel van. They are power latching, soft close, like you get on the ranges and Nest Class Mercs and stuff, sort of like just an anti-slam. Again, for when you're not at work and it's three in the morning and you want to go for a pee, you don't have to wake up everyone on a campsite if you are using the vehicle for that Super purpose. Super useful. 
So two different rear door setups for the transporters, a tailgate, which is this up and over door, or there are also the barn doors, which open that way. The tailgates, particularly with the glazed and heated rear screen function, are far better, far more popular, and seem to be more desirable. They allow shelter from the elements when loading stuff up, uh, and also more car-like drive, because you can actually see out the back. It's worth mentioning that if you've got a long wheelbase and a tailgate, if you get someone in a, um, in a car that parks really close, that can be quite inconvenient. That is really the only negative thing about a tailgate, in my opinion. And forklifts. If you are forklifting stuff into the back, True. obviously this will um, sort of inhibit you from dumping your load straight in the back. We also uh, offer, or spec, should we say, park assist. It's really cool. 360 degree parking sensors um, cool with feature. a rear view camera. That's why we've got these little chappies on the side here. Basically it means you can parallel park, press a button, it'll do the steering wheel for you, like yeah. a lot of the other Volkswagen Audi group vehicles. Um, again, you just have it. It's a really nice feature and um, it really impresses the kids and grandkids. So it's really cool. Isn't it? Awesome. Inside the van. <laughs> Jordan. This is a rubber floor that I've just got very dirty. It's really nice to kneel on. Yeah. Um, so this is great, particularly with a combi conversion. Um, the factory fitted floor is just a really nice finish, isn't it? it saves it us is. putting ply and sort of outro and non-genuine stuff on there. Um, when we fit the rear seats, it's easy to splice through. Um, obviously, we put all the, the floor fixings and everything in. But yeah, it's soft, it's squidgy to kneel on. And something that I'd like to mention, a bit of really good geekery, is this floor has got some weird kind of anti-sticky product in it. Yeah. Now, in the past, I have spilt gloss paint in the back of my transporter. James was not very happy. But not a customer's. It was one that I was lucky enough to be uh, driving around in. And it let it dry it out, and it literally just peeled off this, this, this floor. Um, I don't know how they do it. It's magic, it's amazing. When we have the power latching um, and the soft room four, we get the nice slightly raised side steps compared to the standard panel van ones, which are really short. Um, and we get little lights and stuff, which just kind of helps keep it feeling really, really domestic. Yeah. It's really important. Um, always order the vans as well with twin front seats with an arming rest, yep. which is really nice. Heated seats. They can be retrofitted, but you really want... You don't get the little buttons. The genuine buttons yeah, exactly. cannot be retrofitted. So that's a little nerdy extra. Um, this is your part pilot and our automatic parking here. As a high line, we've got our adaptive cruise control, heated screen, we've got our traction control off, uh, an on button. Now, hearsay says on some of the transporters, it's um, pot luck if you get it or not. If you turn the traction control off, put the vehicle in manual mode, stick your left foot on the brake, spin the accelerator, you do get launch control. No. I promise you. I've seen it done. Comment below if your van has it. It's very hard with our stock vans to see if it's got it or not, because it basically means we'd have to launch control every single one of them. So it's not, not ideal, but that, that is a thing. I don't have any of that. I know. That's why I thought I'd pull out that nugget of information now. Um, Light and Vision Pack comes standard with your um, with your Highline as well, which is basically like an auto dimming rear view mirror, automatic windscreen wipers, automatic lights, and um, your fog light cornering function, which yeah. is really modern these days and uh, really common, shall I say. Cool. And the other nerdy stuff, heated washer nozzles. So when you have a heated washer nozzle, you'll get your insulated battery and insulated fuel lights. Heated folding mirrors, all of that kind of stuff. Like we said earlier, the Highline is is standard. All the T6.1s have the Servotronic steering as well. And um, this particular transporter doesn't have a sports mode. This is the version two gearbox, which means it's got the integrated, um, well, it's got the new Megatronics unit, which is very clever. It, uh, it understands how you push the pedal and puts you in the right cog for the moment, which is really cool. So the standard vans, like Tom was saying earlier, you know, you've got to buy a decent foundation van um, before you go and spend a load of money and a load of time modifying it into your dream van. 
So all of the vans here come with everything that we've just gone over, plus a few other little odds and sods, which are a surprise for when you call, um, like the ejector seat. <laughs> <laughs> Available at the moment, as a brand, as a company, we've got lots and lots of different variations. All the vehicles are physical or here in the next couple to three weeks. There are not many now that they've discontinued of these big juicy spec vans. So it's really worth letting you know that you can still get them. We have them. We're ready to, to build yeah. on them. So, so even though the order books are shut, we've still got plenty of orders that VW have committed to build between now and maybe April next year. Maybe, which is really sad, but also really good. And I know it's quite salesy trying to tell you that, but it's just really important that you don't spend hours and hours and hours trying to go through all the start lines and standard high lines when you're looking to do a big modification on your van. Yeah. Um, you can call us up and we can hook you up with a really sweet chassis, all right? So, should we see what this thing looks like um, modified? Just go and design it. Okay. Welcome to my office. Our office. This is my half. <laughs> <laughs> We've just had a look at that four ton of red short wheelbase van mm -hmm. um, as a standard, guys. So, this is when we can really start using this little chappy here. So, the van was red. Um, let's put a TTS on it. Uh, black Devon, uh, black uh, Londons, just because it's a winning combo. So we'll have a black leather with a four tonne dress stitch and anthracite on the front. So here we have our completely standard high line. Now converted, we've got our combi conversion done in the rear, which is very nice. Mm. Like it? Needs a black badge, man. We can do a black badge. badge. Exterior options. There we go. Black. Perfect. Done. Send it to workshop. Get the guys to build it. Okay. Right. Let's do that. Bing, bing. Turn the lights on because it's all sorted. We've just designed a van. Let's get down to the turntable again. Boom. What a difference from that standard Highline van. The color totally changes when you add it with a little bit of high gloss black accenting yeah. and detailing. It really brings the deep burgundy pop out of the paintwork, um, especially under the LED lights down here in Detailing Bay, it, which uh, looks sensational. So foundation van to finished van. Why is it so important? We've just gone over earlier. So when you were looking to have something built beautiful, like this. Obviously completely and utterly indistinguishable from a factory combi. So on the inside, this has got a comfort line. So decommercializing the van is really important. Getting all the reverb and bringing the decibel rating right down. So adding a little bit of extra audio. Um, we do that with three different forms of, of products. We, I know you know, um, we talk about all the time. Dacron, thermal liner, bubble foil for vapor barrier, then the carpet, lights, USB ports, audio upgrade, beautiful leather interior. Yeah. This is the fundamental ingredients to a non-commercial transporter. Exactly. And you can choose how far you want to take it. So this looks awesome if you wanted to inject extra Alcantara, different plastics, bigger sound system, entertainment, off-grid electrics, diesel heaters, all the good stuff. All the stuff stems from that comfort pack. And we've got some beautiful leather. This uh, is really tasteful. Really I really nice. like the black, um, the, the charcoal piping. Yeah. It's, it's actually got, it's got the piping in there. 
Um, really subtle, really dainty. Um, this is an incredibly classy van. So, um, and it's also sporting the new TTS kit, which looks wonderful. And it's really nice now, because that is again, totally unique to, to, uh, to the boys here in the workshop. And um, looks awesome, it's lovely. Please let us know what you guys want to see from, from this video, from the YouTube videos of Van Haven TV. <laughs> bye bye guys, cheerio. Well, you have to edit that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you going? Oh, yeah, you're going. Oh, no, you're going. Okay. Well